Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add animation effect to your text inside Active Presenter. So you know that Active Presenter is a great software for creating online training video. And you have different ways to add text to your video and different way to, to add animation effect to your text also. So that, that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside Active Presenter. This is a start page of the program. By the way, if you don't have the program, uh, check out the link I put in the description to download it. It is completely free to use and you can download and install it on your computer and use all the, so all the features of the software. And I also have a special discount coupon code if you want to purchase their standard license or pro license. Okay. Uh, so the first thing, I want to create a blank project. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to click here uh, to create a blank project in Active Presenter. All right, so this is the main user interface of Active Presenter. So the first thing, I want to delete all the title here. And I want to change my slide background to black. So what I'm going to do is to go to the design tab here and change the background style to black one and I also check the slide size so I want to make it 1080p video so what I'm going to uh, do is to select this drop down menu and then select 1080p here and then I'm going to click OK to go back to my timeline and the next thing I want to extend the duration of the slide to maybe 10 seconds or stuff like that yeah 15 seconds okay so I'm going to press my control key and scroll my mouse to extend the timeline okay so now i'm going to add a text uh, to this preview window to show you how to add animation effect to your text to do that uh, we can go to the insert tab here and then uh, select text caption so i'm going to select it and then i'm going to drag an area on the screen okay and then type the text text animation and I'm going to press Ctrl A to select the text and modify the text to so just the font, the size, and the color. So here I can change the, uh, the fonts to different font size. Uh, for example, I'm going to select Arian Black and also change the size here to 66. And being mentioned that you can also change the color here uh, if you want. And also you have some more options here to so just bold, italic, and underline or stuff like that uh, by the way for me I think it's okay and we can resize it to this side so this is the text and you can just move your mouse to the edge of the text and you can move it to the center of the video and on the right side you have some uh, more property for the text also so just here is a field if you want to select uh, a solid field for your text you can select here and change the color maybe to red so you have a white text uh, with a red background and you have some more option here with the line if you select solid line that will be, there will be a border around your text uh, but you have to change the the light uh, format here for example i can select four and then i can change the color of the line to something yeah light blue and also I can format the shadow also. I can add a custom shadow also right here and select different style, uh, this style, and then we can also select different color also. For example, I can change the shadow to yellow. Uh, the text will look like this. All right, so now my text is okay. And actually you can do more with the text format and stuff like that. You can modify the text like the way you want. By the way, for me, it's okay. So now we are going to add animation effect to this text. So the first thing I want to select the text track on the timeline and also move the play ahead to where I want to add animation effect. For example, this one, uh, we can select it and we need to go to the animation tab here at the toolbar menu. Okay, so when you select the animation tab here, you have some option here. For example, the first, uh, the first one is the entrance effect for your text. Uh, you need to select this drop down menu and now you need to select one of these um, entrance effect. For example, uh, the first one, I want to make it expand. So I'm going to select it and now it will create an animation control, uh, control box here on the timeline. There is a green box uh, where you control the speed of the animation with this uh, this box 
if you extend extend this box to the right you will have a slow animation effect and if you extend it to the left you will have a faster animation effect okay so this is for the entrance and similarly you have the exit effect you can click here and select one of these uh, exit effect uh, i can select a fade out a simple uh, fade out effect okay and i also shorten the duration of the text here on the timeline just show you faster okay so i'm going to move it to here and now let's play the video with the entrance and exit effect for your text so that is easy right so that is how to add entrance effect and exit effect to your text by the way with active presenter you can add one more animation effect to your text uh, let me show you for example here uh, i can extend the duration of text uh, so this is the entrance effect and this is the exit effect and I want to add something here to emphasize the text. So what I'm going to do is to select the text track again and now we can look uh, look at the right side. So we have some option here, uh, pulse or tree, trigger or you can click this uh, menu to add a motion part to the text. So we have different uh, different motion part here. For example, I can add a shape okay so when we select a motion part for the text uh, there will be a circle right here and you can adjust this circle and make it any shape you want okay so i can even rotate the circle here and just move it right here for example and being mentioned that you have an animation control here on the timeline also so this is the yellow one you can extend the duration or shorten the duration of this animation effect and you can even move it along the text track here on the timeline okay so let's preview this motion part very nice right and if you want to add a simple uh, simple motion part uh, to your text you can uh, all you need to do is to select here and uh, select any any preset here pulse or trigger or spin for example i can uh, select the spin one, but when you select the, a preset here, it will eliminate the motion part. So uh, you can only use this one or this one on on your text track. For example, I can select spin; it will replace the the animation here. So there is no animation part here, only the twin uh, spin one. Okay, play it. That's nice, right? So that is how to add animation effect to your text in Active Presenter. I think it's easy, by the way, maybe it is helpful for beginners who don't know anything about this software. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.